everyone, in today's iPhone video, I wanna show you five different iPhone settings that you should turn off or change right now. Let's jump in. And I'll do my best to explain why you should change any one of them that I mentioned. The first one is background app refresh. Let's go to the settings app here and we want to go down here to general, click on that. And then under general, there's an option here called background app refresh. Now on top, it's on for everything. I don't want you to turn it off here because some apps do need to refresh. So you don't wanna turn it off for all your apps. What you wanna do is go through the list of apps that you have and look at all these apps that are refreshing in the background. And in almost every case, that does not need to happen. So you could actually turn some of those off if you don't want them to use up any energy, battery, or processing power of your phone. So I definitely recommend you go through this list and turn a bunch of these off. And if you have way too many apps like I do, you should actually go ahead and offload some of these apps from your phone as well while you're here. Now the next one is also under settings. So we're gonna go in the settings here. And this one is turning off location services, but I want you to turn it off for individual apps again. This one is if you scroll down under privacy, so let's jump into privacy here, and right there location services is on. Again, you wanna keep it on, let me jump in. We don't wanna turn off location services because then a lot of different apps like Maps are not going to work. So I'm gonna leave that on. But again, what I wanna do is all these apps that basically say always, a lot of them you wanna turn off. A lot of them you wanna leave on while using and some of them you wanna put on never. Now this depends again on the use of the app, but what you wanna do for most apps is just set it to while using and usually not on always. Always is very rare situations on apps that need always access. So I definitely recommend jumping into these and then changing and these are the three different ones you have. Again, you have to make this choice per app because I don't want you to turn this off for all of your apps at once on top. And while we're here, there's a hidden option here. Let me go all the way down. I wanna show you this one here. It's called under system services. Let's go there. And this one is all the way over here called significant locations. Jump into that. And basically with significant location, your iPhone knows all the places that are significant to you based on where you're going. So your home is gonna show up on top, a bunch of other places are gonna show up under history. Now, a lot of people for privacy options, do turn this off. So if you have any privacy concerns, go ahead and turn that off here. But it does say it may affect some things like map. In most cases, I don't think you need this option. So I go ahead and turn it off in my case. Now back in the settings app here, let's go down to privacy one more time. And the next one is tracking. Now this had a big change with iOS 14. So if you click on here, allow apps to request to track you. Now a lot of times, they may need this in order to function properly. So I don't recommend, again, don't turn this off from the top, but do go through all these apps that you want to turn on and off here and change them. So most apps maybe don't need to actually track you, so you could go ahead and turn it off. Now, as you can see, I don't have that many apps. They haven't asked me permission, all of them. These are the apps that I've opened up, and a lot of them I do want to turn off because they don't need to track me across other apps here. So you could learn more about it here as well. It's a big update in iOS 14. Now the next one I mentioned before, but let me show you what this one is. Go all the way down to the app store option here. And this one is offloading unused apps. It's this option right here. Basically what this does is it automatically removes apps that you don't use, but it keeps all the documents and data related to the app. This saves you a ton of time, but at the same time, it easily lets you reinstall the apps. They actually stay on your home screen. So it just offloads it, saving you storage, but keeps your documents in there. So if you open the app, everything you've done in the app is still there, locally stored. But this saves a ton of space on the phones. So I definitely recommend that you go ahead and turn this on here and it will offload any app that you don't use. And the last option is related to messages. So let me show you here back in the settings. Let's go down over here and find messages all the way down here. And I always recommend to people to send red receipts. This basically, when you send a text message and the other person reads that text message, it tells you that they read it underneath instead of saying delivered. So I recommend you turn this off. So when you read a text message and you don't have time to reply, people don't get upset that you're not replying because you did read it. And then you notify them that you read it, but you didn't have time to reply. So this, turn off, then it just said the message was delivered, but it won't say 
if it was red or not red. And while we're here, there's another option here I want to show you, which is under unknown and spam. I turned this off as well. Filter unknown senders. I don't want to get called from unknown senders. And I did download another app that I use from time to time called RoboKiller to actually filter out SMS messages as well. So I do turn this off from time to time as well. Not right now, but that is very, very handy just to filtering out unknown calls. And a bonus one here while we're here, message history. I do change this from forever to one year because I don't really need to keep my text messages forever. And that was before I changed this, maybe like 10 years of having the iPhone. So that is very useful, saves you a ton of storage over time. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure you subscribe for easy to follow tech videos and I'll see you on the next video.